Right, today we're still trying to get this purchase access to the belt section that we need 40,000 for. We've still got uh, about another 20,000 to get and I don't really want to sell my scrap at just bog standard rates. What we're going to do is we're going to open the map, we're going to go over to the right here which said vehicle to crusher. We're going to put a tick in that box. This highlights where there are various vehicles or scrap that can go in the crusher so all we have to do is just turn ourselves round and the closest one by the look of it is 254 in that direction so we're going to go and see what it is now this is a kind of potluck it could be a large scrap heap which we don't want because we haven't got space in the crusher for it or it could be what we do want and that is a vehicle just because it's got a tractor icon over it doesn't mean that that's actually what it is so you don't actually really know till you get there fortunately it's not too far a run so it's just in front of us wherever it is is it a vehicle? it is, right ok it's a camper van Right, we'll transport that to the crusher. And the next one is about 400 metres. Right. Uh, going anywhere off road by vehicles in this game is not the greatest of ideas, but it might as get there, might get there a bit quicker. Driving through a forest load of trees is not the easiest thing to do. But it's faster than walking. Easy, easy, easy. Up we go. Ah! We got a bonus on iron for the scrap market. Ah, tractor. Fantastic. We'll have that. We'll send that one to the crusher. Beautiful. Let's have a look and see what this iron's worth. Okay, iron is currently exchange rate is 1.7, so for 7,000 kilograms of iron I am only going to get 12,000 for I don't bloody think so right off we go again come on up we go right, 400 meters in that direction Come on, little 4x4, four four, you can make it. Come on. Go on, get up there. Yeah. That was... Uh, good right we're not going to that one I know what that is down there that is always a scrap heap and we don't want scrap heaps so another one is there seems to be three of them over on the left there we can pick up and take four vehicles at a time It'd be nice to have been able to take a shortcut, but with these barriers here, I can't actually get through them. Oh, 
I'm doing this one because I wanted to do something that we can actually do that um, isn't actually following the quest as such. This is more of a do your own thing bit and it's the first time we've really had the opportunity to actually do this because we've been following the tutorials pretty much religiously. At least this time we can do our own bit. These vehicles do not like hills. They absolutely do not like hills. Right, by the looks of this, I want to go down there. More trees to play with. Okay, there's another camper van. Okay. Uh, there's a 475 over there. I wonder if we can get to that. Let's see if we can get through these trees. Oh, I see. It looks like these two are actually in the um, in the large junkyard. Is that a special? No, it isn't. Blast. Yep, there's a tractor over there. Ah. Uh, uh. I'm never going to make the jump. Let's see if I can find a way in. that a way in? That looks quite promising. Yep, that'll do. Right, now where is that? Hundred and twenty that way. So it looks like it's down here and round to the right. I'm also keeping a watch for any special project cars that we can uh, that we can use. Not actually seeing any. Okay, am I supposed to get through here? Hi. Hi. get down there? No. How the bloody... Oh, here we are. There we go. Where are you? Where are you? There it is. Right, we'll transport that. I don't actually know where the fast travel board is in here. In fact, I don't think there even is one in here. So, for the sake of time saving, what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the escape button, reset character. Bit of a cheat, this. This is going to send me all the way back to the small crusher.
and then I can use the travel board which is just there and teleport to the crusher right the vehicles that we've just gone and picked up have actually been put over here there's the camper van ready to be picked up and the others should be on the back of these yeah there we are there's a tractor and there's the camper van and the other tractor right so it actually loads them on here as you can see collected wrecks four and four so we've got as many wrecks as we can take so what you can do now is get on the crusher get these crushed down make some bales and with a bit of luck we will be able to make some good money out of this has the exchange rate gone up yet uh... times two nope. still not happy with that rate the idea in this game is to actually make money so you really don't want to be selling stuff for silly money otherwise it just completely defeats the object of what you're trying to do right first thing we need to do is go and grab the van Unfortunately this time we haven't got to sit here and break the doors off it. So we'll get that over into the hopper. Dump that down there will do. There we go. Now we'll just pick up a little bit of scrap to go with it. Because we've only got scrap in hoppers 69% so we're going to need a bit more. Right, we've cleared one pile, so we need to find another one now. That'll do. Not too far away, so that's good. As a basic general rule, just to make sure that I have enough scrap in the hopper to make processed scrap, I usually, as a general rule, make sure I put in 140%. That usually pretty much more or less always covers it. So that is more or less uh, vehicle plus 3 to 4 scrap heaps. in fact that should be enough we'll, we'll give that a try if we need to pick up another one we can always do so that should be okay so let's see what we get Right, it's good. What's C offering me? Collect scrap using a baler. Deliver Rex in a parking lot. Collect scrap using a baler. 
I think it's this one, I think. Alright, we'll give it a try. I think this is the one. We'll soon find out if that uh, zero moves. No, apparently this isn't the baler. So what the hell's the baler? Not a small crusher, is it? I thought this was the baler. Weird. I don't know. But never mind. Oh, actually, this might be. I might not have actually have got 2,000 kilograms just off of that one bale. Have you grabbed my tractor? Right, let's get that one over. Those wheels get a little stuck on there. Well, we'll drop that there. Now that says in the, in the hopper there, 455 percent, right? Now for some reason, I will only get about 70 percent of processed scrap out there. I do not understand how that works. And I never have done. I just cannot, for the life of me, work out the percentages that they use to work out how much scrap gets put in this hopper. It confuses the absolute crap out of me. So just to be on the safe side, I'm going to stick in an extra couple of bales. And we'll see what percentage we get. I mean, the fact that the thing's still flashing green says it needs more. I mean, 477% really should be enough. Let's see what happens. Just out of curiosity. I don't get that. I really don't get that. That jumped from 21% of processed scrap in the hopper and it went down to 5. I do not get this at all. I really don't. I really don't like the percentages for this in any shape or form. This is probably why I don't spend as much time on the crusher as I should do. It just seems to be that the maths on this is just so screwed up. Nope, still wants more, it's just not enough. Bargeration. Right, we'll tip the hopper up with this and we'll see what this lock gives us. This should, by rights, give us a bail, but uh, I don't know. I, re I just really don't know. See what we got.
Well, we've got a full bail out of it. If you want to reset the crusher quickly, you can always just press Y and hold it down. Pretty much resets it instantaneously. As a general rule, I don't do it that way, but uh, like I said, I'm trying to keep all these videos to roughly about more or less around an hour. Whoops, go up, not over. Got to get over that tree yet. I wish there was a way we could actually cut those trees down. I even tried knocking them over with a magnet and uh, it, that doesn't work either. Right, 69% in the hopper. And when we had the tutorial, it said add two more bales to it. So that should give us another cube. I hope. Well, it worked for this tutorial. Two scrap piles plus one minivan. That's 110% in the hopper. So let's see what it gives us. done it. Lovely. Right, we've got one more vehicle to shove in now. I think. Just one more, yeah. So let's have a little look and see what we got. Tractor.
Right, again, 455% on the tractor. That should be crushable just on its own. Right, let's see what that does. That's 476% of scrap in the hopper. That should be enough. Should be. And again that dropped down to 5%. Ugh. I didn't need it. Okay, good. By right the way I see it, if it gives you more than 400% of scrap in the hopper, you should get more than one bale out of it. Right, we've done our little bit so we can turn vehicle to crusher off. Uh, we've got five minutes of iron, let's see what the rate is. It's 2.1%, that's really, really not very good. Not very good at all. Um, let's get rid of the crap. Thirty-nine thousand fabric. We need something worth about five hundred. What's the cheapest we got? We got cast iron. Right, we'll get rid of that. Right, okay. We've now made the forty thousand that we need, so we can carry on with the rest of the quest now. So that is back to the campground. There we are. Comes in very useful this fast travel. Okay, let's go and buy this uh, this belt thing. Collect the items. When you have them all, I'll contact you and tell you what to do next. Right, this next bit is a little tutorial bit showing you how to use this. It's pretty much simple and straightforward. I think we only need three items for this if memory serves. Good investment. 
Load items on the belt, run it, and pick them up at the scrap market. They'll be there waiting for you. Remember not to send too many items at a time down the belt, or else it'll crash. <laughs> Alright, so first of all we have to load the belt, so we'll put that on, that on, and that. And of course it has to throw them off. Lovely. So we'll just pop you in. We will get you in there. Get on there. There we are. Run it. Wait for it to go. JJ, now let's head to the scrap market to sell your loot. If you still have some room in your junky Dodge, cart, or backpack, fill it up to make even more money. How to use them brains, Johnny. We don't sleep. We do. <laughs> Okay, there, gone. You get a little highlight thing over there. See that big green line in the background? That's just showing you that they've all been transported over there, as you can see. I don't know if you can quite see that, but it's about 680 metres away. In other words, it's gone to the scrap market. So all we have to do is use the fast travel board again and get ourselves back to the scrap market. Okay, there they are. Those are the items. So they need to be loaded in. Remember about the items for the order. They must be sent to the scrapyard market in order to complete the quest. This is very important. Close it and run it. Yeah, this doesn't always work first time. Sometimes they get stuck in there and you have to run this twice. Yep, that looks like they got stuck in there. Yep, they did. I can see them. Right, so what we'll do, open it up. Have a quick shifty about. Close it and run it again. There we are. It worked that time. Okay, go to the phone booth, which is back at the workshop. Oh. JJ, as part of this job, you're going to buy your first container. I'll get in touch when we get to buying the container. We are literally 1000 XP away from being able to do this from level 10. Well, yeah. Well, anyway, we made the money. We got what we needed. The container, which is the next quest it wants us to do, is quite lengthy. I don't think we have the time left in this video to do that Yeehaw! so what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this waving moron up, here up and, away. and he basically just wants items he wants 10 items which you can find in the workshop here so you just pick them up Three more items to find. Mm. 
Which side is that? Is that this side or the other side? Yep, there it is. There you go, fella. Enjoy. And we now have the old bone shaker here. Now this vehicle operates differently to all the rest. This has no... This has no storage unit on it whatsoever. There is nothing on the back. If you press E, it actually drops the back down. This is a vehicle you use if you're pick picking stuff up loose. Yeah, this is very, very good for that. The only downside is it only takes a maximum of 500 kilogram weight. So it's good for small bits. Big bits it's not so clever with. Press E again and it closes it back up. So we've now got our little I don't know, I don't actually know what this is. It's, it's like an old ancient pickup. Right, so for the time being, that will do. We're down to two and a half thousand dollars, which is not a lot. We are about a thousand XP off from level ten where we can start selling the cars that we've made. Um and that'll have to wait until the next video. I think this one's quite a bit shorter. That makes a change. So I hope you've enjoyed this and uh, thanks for watching and I'll catch you later. Ta-da.